All right, I haven't thought this out, but hopefully this will be quick. So, I have been getting this graffiti um, that account in my stream, uh, my timeline again. Um, that's on purpose. I know that for, like, in other words, uh, I've wanted that to happen. Uh, I Very specifically, the way I've done my account and my algorithm is so that I would know if... If I had done, which is what I have done, if I had done some uh, post about KRK in which I mentioned, yo, KRK was following my account. I don't know why the fuck he kept following my account, even though I said, you know, there's no reason to follow my account. Um, and I don't know. Apparently, he has a problem with that. Uh, anyway, why the fuck would I not want people like KRK follow my account there's a couple different reasons why um so one of them is all right i take photos of graffiti this is the type of graffiti i take photos of now this may sound kind of weird and everything else but this is so the only reason the whole reason i did these types of photos of graffiti is because i had thought graffiti writers would have no interest and looking at that kind of graffiti. Artists may. Now, there's only basically two people. You see that? San Flores and Edgar Ortiz, PRNYSF. Those are basically the only two people I was trying to get a hold of online um, at all. Those are two people that I've known forever. Those are two people who, without getting into, you know, get into other things, that's, I just wanted to know what the fuck they got to say about me. Um, and so me going out there and talking about graffiti was always just simply about pretty much, pretty much, uh, trying to get, trying to find out what the fuck either Sam or Edgar would have to say about me, period. That's it. So that's a, that's a summary of. All this shit. So why would I even talk about KRK? Well, one, you know, he stayed following my account even after I'm like, yo, there's no, there's no reason for you to be following my account. Um, two, I've been trying to talk about this shit for I don't know how long. Realistically, you could say that as far as being in the graffiti scene as a graffiti writer, I even have said many times I have written graffiti in my life. San Francisco is probably one of the places that I've done the least, although that's not really true. But in other words, it's not it's not about graffiti as much as it is about the fact that this guy, Sam Flores, I know for a fact he started writing graffiti in New Mexico. I haven't really ever seen him much up in San Francisco. Me, myself, me and him have talked. He knows that I don't particularly think of him as a graffiti writer. He, again, this is this just is what it is. I would think he, all bullshit aside, everything else aside, if he starts seeing me talk about me being a graph writer out there, it would, because of our history and because of everything he knows, I would think he would be one of the first people to go, Charlie, even by your own words, even by your own words, it makes no sense that you're out there talking about yourself as a graffiti writer like that. So understand that I understand people may have been confused, um... But it was basically, again, just mad simple. All about simple shit like this. This is simple. The reason why I know the reason why I'm getting that this graffiti on my fucking on, on my feed is because I just put out some shit about this graffiti. It's a way to, for me to be able to use the algorithm for me to know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just is what it is. It's a smart thing to fucking do. It's also not something anybody else or not most people could fucking do because you got to understand that. These are people, both like Sam Flores, known him since about, I think, 2001, maybe 2000. Fucking Edgar, same shit. You know what I mean? That's somebody I've known since 2000. We're talking 21 years now. These are people that I very, very much know who are acting as if they don't know shit about me. KRK is getting involved in that shit. So by him keep following my account, it's another person that's making it seem as if me and him are boys, me and him are cool. We're not fucking cool. We're not. The, the, the people that I'm trying to find out there and the people, the whole reason I even ever mentioned Graph and everything was to try to get anybody to find out what the fuck and say it. 
clearly to me. What the fuck is Edgar saying? What is Edgar saying about this shit? Because how is Edgar missing this shit? You know what I'm saying? And it's also the same shit, though. I mean, realistically, I've also realized if I didn't know Sam, I wouldn't, in all this time on, on Instagram, I wouldn't have come across his account. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's mad weird. You know, but that's also, that's what I'm saying. That's a testament of, like, how little ties I have to these people online. Because realistically, online, I've never, I've never, MySpace, friends to know that shit, I was, like, friends with fucking Sam. But throughout all that time, I had his fucking phone number. Throughout all that time, he knew how to get a hold of me, and I knew how to get a hold of him. So it's, it's just, that's what I'm saying. This shit isn't about uh, a lot of other people. It's really, right now, you know, pretty much just me, as far as graffiti and online presence and Instagram, it's really just about Sam, Edgar, and me, and me wanting to find out why the fuck Sam and Edgar are acting as if they have no fucking idea what's going on or who the fuck I am, because those are the two people who shouldn't be, they, they should be doing what KRK is doing. You know what I'm saying? Because KRK, he don't fucking know me. He doesn't know anything about this. Again, that's the whole, why did he even stick around? Why is he? But that's also for a lot of other people. Why are you, why are you making this about you? I've said it mad many times. This is all about me. Even, you know, straight up to the people who I follow, no matter what, you know, no matter what you think or how you may, you know, what you would do. The whole, this, this entire feed, this, these last three or four posts, I worked for that. That this entire feed tells me exactly what I wanted to know. You know what I'm saying? It may be it may not be anything to anybody else, but for me, it tells me exactly what I wanted to know about how is you know how people have been interacting with my account over the last 24, 48 hours. You know what I'm saying? That takes a lot of work. I understand that a lot of people may not understand all this shit. May they don't do this shit. They're on Instagram looking for hundreds and thousands of followers, whatever all this shit. I again. I'm not on Instagram for all that. I'm on Instagram because this motherfucker, Sam, known him for mad long. See that little check mark he's got right there? That's not what I give a fuck about. What I give a fuck about is before that check mark. As a matter of fact, realistically, he helped. I helped somewhat get that check mark because I was around before that check mark. You know what I'm saying? So, like, for him to be acting as if he has no idea what's going on, that's fucking weird. And same shit with, you know, Edgar. It's the same shit. It's like, yo... These are two people who are acting as if they have no fucking idea what's going on. They haven't paid attention at all to my account. But then you got somebody like fucking, you know, KRK, where it's like, why, why, are, you, why are you on my account, dude? You know what I mean? I, I try to ask. I've done as many, you know, I'm just, because it is weird. You know, I've already said to you, there's mad other shit going on. There, it, you could see it on my account. There's other things going on. And you're sticking around. So anyway, I wanted this to be three minutes. But even if you only heard the first three minutes, well, you've gotten pretty much uh, everything that's going on. Uh, even if it's not the best uh, organized thoughts on this shit. I just wanted to get this fucking out. Um, and maybe uh, if this graffiti fucking sees this shit, maybe he could fucking, you know, he or she could spread the word. And maybe, you know, have some fucking understanding that Charlie Suenando. Yo, yes, I've written graffiti pretty much all my life. But I am not online because of that. There are a lot more serious things. Yeah, I would like to sell my art. That's, again, secondary to a lot more important things. And if any, you know, any questions as to why I would even come at KRK the way he, I did, it is simply because he should understand that. This, you know, somebody coming through my account, one or two posts, I could understand that. You could see from the DMs that I put on the other posts. That we're talking about from like 2018 going forward, he... He's still acting as if he doesn't understand that. I've said it many times. Realistically, the only people who should be graph, like as far as graph writers, you know, or in the art scene in San Francisco who should be on my account or should have anything to say about my account is literally those two people who know me from before Instagram even existed. And it's Sam Flores and Edgar Ortiz. KRK has nothing to do with that. Um, so, yeah, anyway.